In this video, I'm going to show the Ubuntu and Debian based Linux users how to fix an error if they're trying to mount a USB or an internal or external hard drive. And this is if it's been formatted with the NTFS formatting, which is used by Windows. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that shows you the two methods that hopefully will fix your error. Now, this past Saturday, uh, I had a problem when I tried to access my 1.5 terabyte in my local disk which is a 4 terabyte disk it would come up with this error mounting the device SDB1 at media and then it had the path of, on my system and then the one below it on the local disk had error mounting device SDC2 for that particular disk and before this error occurred my system froze which very seldom freezes and so I rebooted my system and then that's when I started having this problem so this is for an unknown system type file system type which is the NTFS so if yours is using something different this will not fix your problem the first solution that I offer is uh, first to identify the type in this case uh, it tells you the label of my error message is SDB1 and SDC2, which my SDB1 is for my 1.5 terabyte and my SDB2 is for my local disk. Now, for example, this these labels here can be slightly different according to what you're trying to uh, uh, plug in on your system. Let me show you, for example, and then I'll show you how to fix. These are some images that I found across the internet. These are not my error. I forgot to take a screenshot of it, and after I fixed it, I thought I'm not going to try to mess it up just to get a screenshot. But as you can see here, this is a very similar message, the error mounting S dev SDB1 at media, and then that's the path on their system. This one's a little bit different error mounting dev SDA1 or SDA2 whereas this was SDB1 so it, it's according to the way that it's labeled the device is trying to mount on your system this is another one that's uh, the dev SDB1 and then the path on their system and then this one is a dev SDB1 with the path on their system and then finally this is dev SDB1 with the path on their system so my first one was very similar to the one most of the errors that you saw which was SDB1 so that is my 1.4 terabyte which is actually my 1.5 terabyte since it's formatted with the NTFS uh, it will show a little bit slightly less than what is advertised you know it's advertised as a 1.5 terabyte and as you can see here 1.5 terabyte and this is a 4 even though you see local disk it's a 4 terabyte but the 1.5 terabyte is identified as 1.4 and the 4 terabyte is identified as 3.6 so if you want to know more about why it's showing less space you can click and read that that's not the scope of this video but the way that you fix it is to copy this command paste it put it into your terminal and paste it press the enter key put in your password and if it says that it can't find that command then simply copy and paste this command into your terminal press the enter return key put your password to install this utility so that it will install this command and then go back and reissue that command and then locate the labels that it said in my case is SDB1 and SDC2 now SDB1 was my 1.5 terabyte hard drive that it couldn't mount and my SDC2 was my local disk which is my 4 terabyte which is the 3.6 terabyte that it could not see it says labeled as a local disk so that it could not mount either one of these so here's the solution that I had that fixed my problem. You want to copy this command right here, and then you want to include what matches up with a device that's not mounting on your system. So in my case, it's SDB1 and SDC2. Yours might be SDA2, like the one that I showed you a while ago. So you're going to look and match what label matches up with the drive that it's not mounting. And that's what you're going to put in place here. So in my case, my first one was SDA2. DB1 which is this one so I simply copied this command then I paste it into the terminal press the enter return key then put my password in and then I waited till this command F NTFS fix so there was an issue with the NTFS on that particular hard drive this command will fix it and then it will let you know that if it repaired it and then the simply copy and paste this one like I said match the device that's not mounting if you've got two devices that it's not mounting or, or you can if you may have more and you're just going to replace this so I simply copy this paste it into the terminal press the enter key and let it go through and fix that problem after I did run those those two devices that could not mount 
I was then able to click on that and that fixed my problem. If this doesn't fix your problem, more likely you will need to install the Ubuntu NTFS driver or reinstall it. If you've never have installed it, then leave this part out and go sudo app install NTFS-3G. And if it's on your system but somehow cut corrupt, maybe during an upgrade or an update on your system, then you can simply copy that and it will reinstall that particular file on your system which will install the Ubuntu NTFS driver. You may have to reboot your system so that it takes effects while it's booting up and then you can, should try to click onto it and access your internal, external or your USB device. So hopefully if you're having the same type of problem that I was having this past weekend you can use one of these solutions on your system to fix your problem. Hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day.